I will do all the paperwork and then request that he be transferred to Abuja immediately. And there's no problem. Yes, sir. Yeah. Permission to leave, sir. Okay, where are you going? Uh, we they go, Makoji. Uh, okay. Let's carry the call. Okay. Come down for now, Come down. For now, Madam. <laughs> Come down. Hey guy, how far now? I beg, we need to see I beg. Yeah, my man, man, what's up now? Oh boy, oh boy. Wow, wow. How far now? Oh boy, no, I that's really. I want to arrest. Please. I, look at your friend. Train him. Get in, get in. Very good. I need to go back to the back. Hey, go go Stop! 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 Inspector Alcali, sir. Yes, sir. That was an incident, sir. Yeah, I've got one of the robber guys. Yeah, I've got him down, sir. Well, yes, sir. The hotel, sir. I've got him down. Yes, sir. Can you rush with the ambulance, sir? I'm waiting, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm waiting. Thank you, sir. The youths are angry. The youths are enraged. My main advice is whatever the cause of their anger should not lead them to break the law. I'm Alai Loa Oba Abdulwasi Omogbalan Lawa. Abisogun second, Oniru of Roland. Keep watching Crime Fighters. On 12th of July, 2019, there was a complaint from a victim who was robbed of his Venza SUV somewhere in Anambra State. When he laid the complaint, his vehicle was snatched away at gunpoint and the vehicle has a tracker. So we, we got the report, this then report from him, and we swung into action. This is the one that I bought the phone from. Cough him. Cough! Uh, it is not uh, up to this level. It is not up to this level. He was able to lead us to the person who was being arrested by the SAS, an Ambra State. One of the suspects that was a syndicate that snatched the car was the one that gave us the details of the other gang member, which we tracked them down to Benin State. They were arrested, five of them. And in the process of arrest arresting them, We took him to hospital for the medical attention, he couldn't survive. We were arrested, we have five of them here with us, including the sponsor, who is Johnson IFA by name. In police custody, Johnson owns up, and he tells the police about his involvement in the series of crimes. It turns out that this is not the first time Johnson has been arrested by the police. He was arrested by the police several years ago. Uh, before now, I was into precious stone business. But along the line, everything got bad. Business was no longer moving, no orders. So I decided to let me swap into what is moving, what people are currently dealing with, which a friend introduced me into car business. So the first business I do in car, all lead me into all this uh, mess I'm into now. This is what happened. I bought an ML350 Mercedes Benz uh, from one Chibeze Ebeni. I bought the car last year, last year, February. So I bought the car 6.5 million, I sold it to one honorable in Kuche. 
at 6.5. I bought the car 6 million and I sold it 6.5. So three weeks later, I was arrested by uh, Anambra State Police. They came all the way from Anambra with the guy that sold the car to me. They came and arrested me that the car was robbed at gunpoint. So I was taken down to Anambra from police station, we were transferred to SAS. From SAS, we uh, were now charged to courts. So from courts, I went to prison. I was reminded because it was the second time hearing that I was discharged from courts. Because the guy, the Chibeze Ebeni, that bought the car from the, the armed robbers, said I didn't know that it was a stolen car. During Johnson's time in prison, he makes contact with a car thief criminal. So I got to get uh, uh, Ch uh, Chibike Ugo, Chibike, the late guy, their gang leader. That was where I was looking for his number at the prison. Because uh, the reason was this, when I was there in the prison, the honorable car, uh, 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 they were telling me that when once I'm out, once I'm out, I will pay the car. So I was now devising other means that, okay, when I come out, I will look for money to sort out the debt that was accumulated already because this said ML350 that, uh, that I was arrested about that is a stolen car. It was not only the car that was recovered for me. So I have debt that was waiting for me outside when I was inside. So I thought, I, I, I was not devising means that when I come out, I will look for money. It means that I will get money and pay back these people their money. So that was when I looked for this uh, Chibike Ugochuku, Ugochuku, the one, the, the gang leader that is dead. I looked for his number. In there in the prison, it, uh, uh, I was told that he was the one that gave that uh, 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 Chibeze Ebeni that car. So I thought, okay, it would be easier for me to deal with somebody that is already in the system, that he will help me. So when I came out, I, I, I was calling him. Johnson is given the contact of a man who can help him continue his crime of car stealing once he gets out. Hello, bros. Uh, uh, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. Now you be Yoga Johnson. Uh, she just be now so. I don't understand. I change. I change. <laughs> I say they look for who want to help you the wrong matters. That oh, matter. Yeah, no. Anyway, you don't say this kind of matter now. I don't hear what you say. I tell you, I'm not going to go on for it. My guy. Johnson meets with Murphy. And I spoke to him. I said, please. I, I want you to help me. I want to do business. I fall into debt. There is a lot of debt on my neck. I want you to help me. Let's see how you can give me cars so that I'll sell and settle the debt that is on my neck. He now said, uh, the issue now is that I am far. So as I am far away, that there's no how they can be bringing cars to me from Onicha to uh, Abuja is far. So there's no how they can be bringing car for me that the car will not be tracked, uh, tracked off on the way. Back there in the prison, I was told that uh, the, when you have this anti-tracker, that's when you put it inside the car. It was there in the prison that I know about anti-tracker and where to get it. So when he complained about that, it took me two months uh, to, uh, to, to know where I can get it. Johnson is out of prison. But once they start car snatching again, he finds an application which can be used to neutralize any tracking device or car. It is a laborious process, but finally, he purchases the anti-tracker and it sends for Murphy. Murphy, Murphy. I can see you are enjoying yourself. Boss, boss. Take this. Murphy, Murphy. 
Do you know what that is? I don't, but uh, it looks sophisticated, though. <laughs> what you have there is an anti-tracking device. It means that when it's on, no device, not a phone, not any electronic device can function. Including car tracker? Exactly. <laughs> With that, Whoa. you are invisible. One more thing. Always make sure you hide it. No other person must know it's with you. Not even the escort. Whoa. And that means you are going to be giving me very, very big cars, not any low car. Those very big cars, that's what I'll be expecting from you. Trust me, boss. I would definitely deliver. <laughs> With this, no one can trust me. <laughs> Murphy. Boss. That means we're in business. We're already in business, boss. Good. Enjoy yourself. Then from there, we started. He started bringing cars for me. The first three, the first set of cars he brought for me in Kuji, where uh, the, the, the cars enter in my house and information got to Kuji police that their suspected robbed cars to must have entered my compound. So police came, uh, came at the uh, at the process. Then I managed to escape. The three cars were in my compound, police came and I escaped. So when I escaped, I now located to Makodi. So there in Makodi, that is where I, I was, as I was hidden. That was where the cars were now coming in. They go after exotic cars. So once they get the car, they put the jammer inside the car. Until they made their way from the, state, the Anambra state down to Abuja and Benin State, where they give the car to their to their sponsor. The cars that are being that are highly in market now, since I don't have money, they do bring for me, I sell before paying. That the car that are marketable now is Toyota and Lexus. It's not as if I say it's high high car because the other they, they brought Corolla for me, which I receive. So if you want to put Corolla and that Nissan, they are almost the same grade. So it's not as if I say I don't deal with small, small cars. I said I deal with Lexus, the cars that are marketable in the market, that I can sell fast, turn up, so that I won't be owning them for so long. That was my reason. It's not as if I said I want big, big cars. I don't want anything less than Toyota, or I don't want anything less than Venza or ML. Only what I, I, I did in what the, my own parts, the part I played on this is I bought the device anti-tracker and sent for him. I didn't recruit him because to all indication, person gave me his number there in the prison. That means he has been in the business before. No offender will escape the long arm of the law. So whatever you are doing that is criminal in nature, be rest assured that the long arm of the law will certainly catch up with you. Hi, I'm CP Larry Bankole, CP Augustic Command. I enjoy you all to continue to watch Crime Fighters. Uchai, the soldier. I happen to know Mr. Johnson, through his cousin brother, they were in the same location in Medugri. That same attack we had, that Boko Haram attacked us, I lost, we lost him. He's one of the soldiers we lost at that attack. He introduced me to his brother, which is Mr. Johnson, that he does cars business. When I discussed with uh, Ugochuku uh, Chibike about the, the car that he should bring for me. Then he told me his problem, that his problem was anti-tracker. So when I supplied the anti-tracker, he now said uh, they, they have a challenge again that on the way that there are many checkpoints 
that if they can get an escort to aid to aid him anytime he have car bringing it he won't have issue on the way so when i discuss with my late brother joe he now said okay let him see what he can do he now provided his number for me he sent me his number and i called him i came to abuja i met with mr johnson he said the people that the customer that normally gave him a car said they wants to give him a car that please i should help him go to Onicha and escort the vehicle for him which I did. He gave me a transport. I went to Onicha and I escorted the vehicle to Abuja. He has caught five cars for me. It was the first three that then brought from Anambra to, uh, to Abuja that uh, police uh, collected. That is the first transaction I uh, did. Then the second one was at uh, Makodi. He brought a uh, uh, Venza, Toyota Venza, escorted Toyota Venza for me. And the last one is this uh, uh, RX350 Lexus. He told me the, norm, uh, the person that normally escorted vehicle for him normally paid him 30,000 naira. He was supposed to pay me, he didn't pay me. He said when he sold the car, he will pay me my money. I said, okay, he gave me transport. I went back to Makodi. Not up to four days, he now called me that he has relocated from Abuja to Makodi. I said, okay. He now said, we shall see. Give me an address, an hotel address. I met him in the hotel. He said he shifted his business to Makodi, that this is where he wants to be doing his business. I normally pay him 50,000 per transaction. The car I brought to Mr. Johnson in Abuja, he did not pay me the money. The car I brought to Mr. Johnson at Makodi de Venza, Mr. Johnson gave me 30,000 Naira. The Lexus 350 I brought from Mr. Johnson, Mr. Johnson did not pay me. He said he's trying to fix the car, to sell the car before he pays me, which we had problem in the hotel with a fight. It's 50,000 I paid him for the first transaction. The one in Abuja, I lost it. I did not pay him for that one. I'm talking about the two in Makodi. The two occasion, two different occasion. He would have given me 100,000 and I wouldn't have been in the hotel waiting. We had a fight at the hotel with the hotel management was aware. Give me my money, let me go. There was a fight, which he sent me a text that I should carry my bag and go. Whenever he sells that car, he's going to pay me my money. I know him through one of my brother that was a soldier that was serving at uh, Meduguri, but he's late now. He died there at uh, Meduguri. I was the one that told him of his brother's death. He has my number. He normally called me. That we've not met. It was after my dismiss that we met. That was this. I met him this year. Yes, I met him this year. This year, May, to be precise. I think on May 14th. To be sincere, if not this uh, incident that happened now, I never knew that he was he had problem in his work. Of course, he because, was not aware. Uh, because every time he keeps saying he wants to report. At times we'll call him, I'll call him, he said no, that is, he have to be at work. When he calls me, I was telling him those things because I don't want to go. And then I got admission, I was in school. Yes. So if he calls me, I will tell him I'm busy. I'm in work. The first car. I was trying to make call when I was inside. I couldn't make call. I thought it was a network problem. I was not aware. Till we got to Abuja. So the second car, I was trying to make a call, which I told the driver. I said, I'm trying to make call. He told me, the driver told me that I can't make call. I said, why? He said, he blocked something that hold my network. 
that's when I saw Antitraka. I don't know I don't know anything about Antitraka. I've never seen Antitraka before. I don't even know that there is something they call Antitraka. That was my first time of seeing it. To be honest, I if truly I have regretted everything how I participated on this, then I don't see why I should be saying small, small lie to cover myself up. So if he is to plead, if, if he is to plead that, okay, they should temper justice with mercy, that is a different, this thing, because I gave this thing, he went there, and this, uh, this uh, car was brought to him. He not, he not normally drive, he just sit in, and the thing will be escorted to me. So if now he's saying that he don't know, I don't actually know what to... Just as I told you, the first car I escorted for him, the three cars I escorted for him, I tried making calls, my calls was not going. I told the driver, my, why is it that my calls are not going? It's not going. If you ask the driver, I will tell you. He told me I can't make a call that there is anti-tracker. He was not the one that told me. It was a driver that told me that there is an anti-tracker. I don't know anything about anti-tracker. Yes, what will we to the data state? What will we to the data state? The one who explain those things for me for after Asaba. Um, precisely, uh, on Chubo. It's when Okechuku told me all those things. Now, when we move, he said he want to call his wife. Tell me that uh, Chuku told me that this thing that is in this motor that nobody will make call unless you pack motor and go one side and make call. Our advice is that members of the public should have absolute trust in the police. We should actually see the police as our friend when there are information that borders on security or lack of it. We must report you know, promptly to the nearest police station. And we must have confidence in the police. We don't have any other thing that can safeguard our interests as far as security is concerned. So every member of the public should take it as a personal responsibility to report whatever becomes on to what at any level to the nearest policeman. So that at the end of the day, everybody can go home and sleep soundly with our two eyes closed.